Baja SAE is um, an organization here on campus where we design, build, test, and race single seat off-road vehicles every year. We start from the ground up with a new car and then at the end of the year we take it to international competition where we race against 100 other teams. Every single team that competes in Baja SAE has to use the same engine. It's just a 10 horsepower Briggs & Stratton 305cc engine, um, essentially what you have in your everyday lawnmower. Um, so everyone has that same engine and we're not allowed to modify it or open it up for any reason. Um, it's inspected at competition. Outside of that, we have a lot of freedom to do whatever we want and build our cars the way we want. So you'll see cars out there that literally weigh a thousand pounds that will go maybe 10 miles an hour and you'll see cars out there that weigh like 300 pounds and go a lot faster. There's a total of 12 of us. Our team is split into three subgroups, our chassis team, our drivetrain team, and our suspension team. We actually start over the summer in June, um, and what we do there is concept generation, and we basically look at the team from the past year and where things went wrong and where we want to improve. So big areas of improvement are always where can we cut weight, where can we cut cost. We do all the design on a computer, and then we use different softwares to validate our designs made a drawing package for the car, which typically takes two to three weeks. And it's basically just a giant binder with a drawing for every single part that's going to be on the car by the end of it. And then we start manufacturing. First of all, we have to make the chassis, which is the frame of the car. So we have to order all the tubes for that. They get bent and coked and sent to us. We have to do all the welding ourselves on that. So it's hundreds of hours of man hours to weld that chassis. We machine most parts out of aluminum. We have the hubs for the front and the rear. We have the gearbox housing. We have the gears. We have um, the engine mount. We have the gas tank mount. You know, all sorts of tabs, a firewall, a belly pan, um, steering column, pedal box, pedals. We're making our own seat this year, which is something we've never done before. All sorts of things. The list is basically never ending. The School of ME is the only building on campus that has a machine shop that can be operated by students. Um, no other shop on campus is like that, and not many campuses even have that. Um, so we're really fortunate in that regard. In order to prep for competition, we were fortunate enough this year to attend Winter Baja, and this is actually in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, in the middle of February, and it's outside for an entire day. So it was like zero degrees with like negative 20 wind chill, and all of us are just standing outside around the track the entire day, and it was, it was a great time. The competition is essentially just doing dynamic events, which include like a hill climb, a maneuverability course, a suspension and traction course, um, acceleration testing, a rock crawl. And then the very last day of competition, the most exciting part of the event happens. That's when the four hour endurance race occurs. The way we handle it is we run the car for about 50, 55 minutes, and then we pit it, gas it up, change drivers, and send it back out. Um, and the purpose of the endurance race is just to see how many laps you can complete in those four hours, and that's what your score is based off of. We design and build our car so that it fits all 12 of our senior design members. We think that if someone spends an entire year working on this car, they deserve to drive it at competition and actually see the results of their hard work. I think a lot of the, the skills that I've learned over the, my four years in Baja and at Purdue assist me with problem solving and making parts ultimately, because you can see something on a computer screen, but you might not necessarily be able to actually make it and foresee issues that will arise when trying to make your parts. What's really going to set you apart from everyone else is taking that theory that you learn and applying it to something real. It's an awesome resume builder. I got three different engineering related internships through my Baja experience. The most exciting part for me is seeing that in other people, seeing them get excited and seeing them come like meeting after meeting and show up to learn and help and watch them grow in that regard. Um, that's what I'm really passionate about. I'm really passionate about like engineering, leadership, and like mentoring. Sometimes when you're working on something for you know hours on end, it can get kind of discouraging. Like, am I ever going to finish this? Is it ever going to work? Um, and I really enjoy when my team is able to like hold their finished parts in front of them and say like, I did this. Like, I started on a computer and I made it and I machined it myself, and now I have the actual part in front of me to put on the car. So I think that's the best part for me.